Hello and welcome to Tackling Tech on M6, your hometown station. I'm your host, Malika Iavaldi, for our first story. Recently, one of the world's first programmable computers, the ENIAC, was put on public display at the Fort Sill Museum in Oklahoma. The ENIAC, which stands for Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer, took up 1,800 square feet and weighed 27 tons and contained 17,468 vacuum tubes. It was used during World War II for military research. Although much of it is missing, the people in charge of restoring the computer connected hundreds of lights to a motion sensor to make it appear as if it is working as you walk by. NASA is holding a competition for anyone who can create small cube-like satellites with a total of $5 million in prize money. The winning satellites will be put into space on the Orion spacecraft during its first launch on NASA's new rocket, the Space Launch System. NASA is looking for satellites that can travel and maintain communication from 10 times the distance from the Earth to the Moon. It is also looking for satellites that can communicate from within the lunar orbit. For all our holiday shoppers out there, Google has announced that for a limited time it will be giving away one terabyte of cloud storage for two years through their own Google Drive service to anyone who buys one of their Chromebook devices. If you were to buy this storage on its own, it would normally cost $240. That's a pretty good deal, especially if you buy one of the lower cost devices. One such device is the Chromebox, which is only $120 to begin with. For our final story, Sony Pictures computer systems have been hacked, reportedly causing all computers to be unusable. An image appeared on all of their screens that demanded their requests be met and had links to leaked data. An inside source anonymously confirmed eh. an inside source anonymously confirmed that the images and the hack are real. They said a single server was compromised and the attack spread from there. Everyone is now currently working from home except for IT who are working on the issues. They have also been warned to turn off their computers and disconnect from the internet on their phones or other devices. Thank you for joining us for Tackling Tech on M6, your hometown station.